I said, I have no problem with you, but when the time comes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break you all, man. I'm gonna break your hip. Before Conor McGregor became the biggest shit talker in the UFC, before he would beat Marcus Brimage in the first round in a minute, seven seconds, and take home a cash prize of $60,000. Dana, 60 G's, baby! <laughs> Before he was ranked the number one featherweight contender and ranked as one of the best pound for pound fighters. Growing up like many young Irish lads, Connor thought his future was that of a football player. But he came to the realization that he was getting into more fights than he was scoring goals and well football it was a sport for the ladies. Then his parents suddenly decided to relocate to a new town and without friends the then quiet Connor began boxing and kickboxing to take out his stress. For a short period of time he trained to become a plumber but he absolutely despised the work and it was getting in the way of his training. Then for some time he lived off the government's money while he set his sights on getting into the UFC. My name is Michael McCredden documenting the life of Conor McGregor prior to fame here for you on Before Their Fence. Now a lot of you guys requested this bio, the guy's got a big fight coming up. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. My name is Conor McGregor and I live in Lucan. My dream is to be world champion, world lightweight champion in the UFC. Conor Anthony McGregor was born on the 14th of July in 1988 and he spent his early years growing up in Crumlin. A suburb of Dublin, his parents, Tony and Mags, were from working class families and scraped by to support both Connor and his older sister, Aaron. The family lived in Crumlin for 12 years and Connor made all sorts of great pals. He played on the Lord's Celtic Football Club. He was also a supporter of Manchester United. He was having the best time of his life. Also getting into a few scraps that was common both on the football field and out in the streets in Dublin and the guy figured out he could handle his own. Now right next to his football club was the Crumlin Boxing Club where Connor would pop in every so often but still hadn't taken to the sport seriously. Then Connor's parents decided to buy a new house on the outskirts of Dublin in a town known as Lucan and that put him an hour bus ride away from his buddies, away from his football club and the guy was really pissed. At this time Connor had a lot of pent up resentment towards his family and decided to take out his pent up rage at a local boxing and kickboxing club. At this time he also decided to turn his back on football. He also stated that he had realized it was a sport for the ladies. As his love for combat sports grew, well he also decided to double down and learn some jiu jitsu. The Irish government dictates that if you're not interested in attending university to secure a degree, then you need to find a trade and you need to begin your career. Seeing as becoming a UFC fighter wasn't one of the boxes you could check off, well Connor, he was forced to pick a trade, he went with plumbing and he started that at 17. Now this was a job that he would absolutely despise. He would need to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning, he would have to work 10 to 12 hours on a construction site, it would get in the way with his training, it would get in the way with his diet, and he would look at the people he was working with. To him, they all looked like they were dead in their eyes. He would train after work and compete on the weekends, then on February 17, 2007, at the age of 18, McGregor made his mixed martial arts debut in an amateur fight where he was victorious with a TKO in the first round. The double life eventually took its toll on Connor, and he he would have to have a conversation with his parents stating that he was not going to be a plumber, he wasn't going to do anything but train to get into the UFC. His parents were furious, him and his dad got into a brawl. That's when Connor famously told his dad, you'll be sorry when I become a millionaire at 25. An accomplishment he did succeed at at the age of 26. A year short, but I think he's good. After Connor's second fight, he turned professional and the next year he would start at the Straight Blast Gym in Dublin. For mental preparation, his sister gave him a copy of The Secret, something that he had no belief in. It's about positive thinking, making your visions become a reality. But eventually, after having a bad day, he decided to open up the book or watch the DVD. And from there he was hooked. Beginning in 2011, McGregor started an undefeated streak of 14 wins consisting of one judge's decision, one submission and 12 knockouts or technical knockouts, nine occurring in the first round. I just can't get it out of my head but looking back I should have just pulled my knee from my leg and hit him with it. Then in February of 2013, Dana White was in Dublin, the University of Trinity, they had something for him but while he was there everyone kept talking about this kid Conor McGregor. So the two of them, they would have a sit down and a few days later he would be signed to the UFC. And the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is Before They're Famous. My name is Michael McCrudd, thanks for checking out my personal channel, you guys asked for this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next and I read through all the comments so I'll get it done. Also be sure to browse the channel, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.